This is the Insta360 ONE R. Today we're going to analyze this camera to see whether or not it is still good. In other words, should you keep on using your old ONE R camera or should you buy Insta360's new pocket camera? Because if you didn't know yet, Insta360 is releasing a brand new camera within the next few days. But since this video was filmed before the release of this camera, we don't have much information on the product just yet. We're going to focus on showing you what are the pros and the cons of the Insta360 ONE R. As you probably already know, the Insta360 ONE R can record anywhere from 5.7K 30fps to 3K 100fps while using the 360 module. On the other hand, if you're using the 4K module, it can record anywhere from 180p 200fps to 4K 60fps. Oh, I didn't tell them yet? Well, if you didn't know, the Insta360 ONE R is a modular camera, which means that the camera is made out of modules. Here we have the main modules. First, here is the core module, equipped with a small touch screen on which you can choose different options depending on what you want to film. But let's be honest, you're better off using the Insta360 app. I mean, having a touch screen on the camera isn't a bad idea, but it's just too small. And I know what I'm talking about. Go see the road trip for more. So just use your phone, I guess. While we're at it, here's what the Insta360 app looks like. Contrarily to the touchscreen of the camera, the One R app gives you great control over the camera. You can quickly edit your clips within the app. The battery of the ONE R lasts for about an hour, which is not that much, but can be enough if you use it just for fun or as a secondary camera. Then we've got the 4K wide-angle module, which gives off images similar to a typical sports camera. It could be comparable to the GoPro Hero 8. The real thing that makes this camera awesome is this right here, the 360 dual lens module. It also allows you to make all these cool special effects like the bullet time, the tiny planet, and much more. In brief, it is a super convenient, compact camera that allows you to film and edit cool clips with creative effects in one go. However, nothing in this world is perfect. So here are my experience with the Insta360's biggest flaws. Number one, the audio. It sucks, don't use it unless you want to hear that soothing wind sound. So this is a low light test of the Insta360 4K module. Another thing that most people don't know is that the microphone on the Insta360 ONE R is actually on the side where there is no screen. So if you don't see yourself, that's great because you will hear yourself plentifully. You will hear yourself well in other terms. Two, low light recording. If you want to film at night with the ONE R, forget it. The only thing you'll see is a pitch black screen. If, and I say if, your camera is steady on a tripod and it doesn't move, you might get away with a good time lapse. See, when you try and record a time lapse, most of the time the result will be a really annoying twitching camera. Number four, the compatibility of the SD cards. The number of times this camera has lagged on me because of stupid SD cards. In order for your ONE R to function correctly, you need to have at least a UHS-1 SD card, which is considered as a fast SD card. To sum it up, the Insta360 ONE R is a formidable tool for any video making enthusiast and is to me the best sport 360 camera on the market as of November 2020. So if you want to upgrade your 360 camera game, you might want to go ahead and try the new 360 camera released by Insta360. But I think that this one is just fine because you've got two lenses and you can do pretty much everything with this one that you will be able to do with the other one. It's just that the new one is more portable and might be a bit more affordable. But like I said earlier in the video, we don't have much information yet. So that's going to be for you to judge. This last part of the video is filmed with the Insta360 ONE R 4K module. If you guys want to see more ONE R footage, click on my Canadian road trip right here. It's all. As always, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Let's see you on the next adventure. Ciao.